This video is sponsored by Train World, America's discount model train store since 1968. Hey everybody, it's Jimmy from the DIY and Digital, and today we're doing some more lighting on my layout. Welcome back everybody. First of all, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you're eligible for the 10,000 subscriber giveaway sponsored by Train World. I'm really happy to have Train World on as a sponsor. If you're in the New York City area anytime after all this stuff that's going on in the world settles down, be sure to check them out and they have a great online store as well with a wide selection. It's trainworld.com. They've got stuff in all the major scales. So be sure to check them out. So as you guys can see, I do, I've been doing a lot of work. I've got my workbench over here is kind of uh, just all over the place. I've got an Arduino project going on right here. This is the camera that I use to record all of my stuff. I've actually got my edit system going right now. So it's actually been a very busy time over here for the DIY and Digital Railroad YouTube channel. And I'm trying to keep as much content going for you guys. So let's go ahead and dive into today's video. What we're doing today is we're actually going to be wiring up some of these LED street lights that we accidentally burnt out in the last tutorial because I forgot a little something. Oopsie daisy. <laughs> so let's go ahead and hop right into the video. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a central bus line to power all of these LED street lamps. And what we're going to be doing is wiring that to the power distribution board. Now, the big thing that I forgot was to put a resistor on the line. There are some LEDs that can run on 12 volt, but the ones in these street lights, they're recommended for three volts. They can handle maybe five at most. Um, but definitely go with that recommended voltage. So what I'm going to be doing is putting a 2K resistor on the bus line itself. So that combined with all the power being distributed, it's going to have these lights working absolutely no problem. So the way that I put this resistor in the line is I start off by just twisting up the stranded wire that I stripped and the one end of the resistor right here. The next thing is I take some solder and I just kind of lightly put it on there just enough to give it a good enough solid connection. Don't put a ton on there. The next thing that I do is I take some heat shrink tubing and I just seal in that resistor and everything. And I actually for this one I had to take a couple different levels of that just to get everything all nice and snug. I then just stripped out the positive end. I did put the resistor on the ground side. And then it is time to wire up the street lights that are on my removal city block. Now I did this in pretty much the same way. I just took the wires and I twisted them together and soldered them and then sealed them back in. If you have a little bit of difficulty soldering these really tiny wires, you can strip off a little bit more of the protective shielding and you can just seal them in so long as you've got them wrapped really tight on these wires right here just by using some heat shrink tubing. I've done this plenty of times, especially under the layout where soldering can be a little bit hazardous and it has never failed me. I know there's some of you going to say you want to solder everything. You don't necessarily have to. A lot of people do model railroading without any solder at all. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to hook up the bus lines and I am going to solder these together and then I go ahead and heat shrink them together. And now I'm going to thread the wire down through the hole that I had already drilled so that we can get that down to the bus line. So next we're going to be hooking up to the power distribution board. If you want to check out the video where I installed that power distribution board, which was last week, go ahead and check that out. I'll link that right up here. And once again, here is that power distribution board. The thing I love about it is it just has the push buttons for easy install of various different wires. So all I have to do is make sure that the wires fit into the little sockets, and then I just push the button and slide them in and then it'll hold them in place and it's really really great it makes this really really simple and easy to install and now we give it a little bit of a test and there it goes 
this worked out a lot better than the last time I tried to do these street lights. So let's go ahead and check out some photos I took. I did actually install a few more lights on the other side of the layout and everything turned out really great. So let's take a look at some of these night shots. Here's a photo of the layout with all the lights on that I have installed thus far. I'm still going to install more, but this is what I've got so far. And here's a great shot looking down Main Street in the town. I've got three street lights. I've got the little fiber optics on the fire station. I've got the LEDs on. Here's one of the lighted cars right here. I have those linked in the description below as well. Now here's one of the other lights that I installed. I installed it near one of the industries and I'm going to install a few more because it's a little dark over here. But these are really great. A lot of industries do have street lights installed for the safety of their employees. So having these around industries, especially in parking areas, is a really great place to put some of these street lights. And here's one that I actually installed right next to the oil fuel dealership that I uh, custom built. I'll put a link up to where I built those up here as well as in the description below. And here is my personal favorite shot. I did a slightly longer exposure so that I could catch a little bit of the hills on the backdrop and it really just turned out well. It gave it a realistic look. If it wasn't for the front of the layout right there, this could go for being a realistic shot and I'm very, very happy with it. So that's how you install these street lights on your model railroad. This is how I do it anyways. I'd love to hear how you guys install lighting and street lights on your layout, um, or if you wanna do it or how you would implement different things. I love hearing different ways that people do stuff. So go ahead and leave that comment below. And while you're at it, if you haven't already, go and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any updates and so that you are eligible for that 10,000 subscriber giveaway sponsored by Train World. Until next time, I'm Jimmy from the DIY and Digital. Happy railroading.